Good morning. I am feeling super lazy this morning. I don't want to get up. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Wake up. I come to the gym, not to actually go to the gym this morning, but just to have a shower. Because this is where a shower, I have a membership with Pure Gym and I can just use any Pure Gym around the country. Whoa. I feel all lovely and fresh now after that shower and I am going to go on a little adventure in the van. I'm not sure, a couple of days or so. Um, I'm going to go initially by myself and then I'm going to meet up with a friend I think. Um, and I think I'm just going to head up to the Lake District. I live about an hour and a half away from the Lake District. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get this van sorted so I can drive. I have a terrible habit of just like leaving things out on the side and then I start driving and they just like stop flailing all over the place. Um, and then get going. Before we go though, I just want to show you some beautiful new jewellery that I got from Anna Luisa. I got this beautiful bracelet. I absolutely love it. It's got like little um, flowers all around it it's called the ruina bracelet and i also got some new earrings from there which are the harley silver earrings in silver i absolutely love anna luisa anna luisa are currently having their biggest sale of the year and you can get up to 30 percent off and the more you buy the more you actually save i've got a link in the description where you can go ahead and have a look if you want at this time of year it's perfect either for yourself or for someone for Christmas. Their jewellery is such high quality at such amazing low affordable prices. There will definitely be something on there for everyone. This bracelet I think is my favourite. It's just so, so beautiful. I love it. I think that I want a couple more bracelets to be honest and stack them a little bit and maybe a necklace as well. There really is some stunning pieces on there. In terms of the prices, some of the pieces on there, I think they start from around $39 or pounds, which is incredible for such high quality jewellery. It's long lasting hypoallergenic water resistant they're a carbon neutral company as well including both their products and their packaging which is something that I always try and look for when I'm shopping and there's an amazing two-year warranty on all of their products I know that I am definitely going to be getting myself um, at least a couple more bracelets and probably a few necklaces if I'm honest <laughs> There's a few that I've been eyeing up on the website. But yeah, if you are interested in either getting something for yourself or for someone for Christmas, I will put my link down in the description. But now, come on, let's go. We need to uh, get organised and get to... Where am I going? Lakes. Lakes. Lake Coniston, I think I'm going to go to. You will never regret the things that we'll do Cause I go quite often in the summer and rig my stuff um but i've not been this year so i've come up to the lakes i wish i had i didn't bring my stuff because i thought it would be like too cold to go out there but i wish i'd brought it now there's a couple of people i can see just going out there and i feel quite jealous i'll show you where i'm parked in a second i'm at um i this is the spot i usually come it's on coniston um coniston water Well, that was lovely. Nice little wander around the lake. The water's really high um, compared to when I usually come. I don't think I've ever been this late in the year, like mid middle of November. Yeah. 
bikes. <laughs> Look what I have just done. Cracked my flipping. This evening has really just completely run away with me already. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock. I don't know where the time's gone whatsoever. Absolutely pitch, pitch black out there. There was another van just in front, but I think they've left now. But I reckon I quite fancy staying, um, staying in the lakes for a few days. I think I might go to Bowness tomorrow, maybe. I'm not sure. I wish it wasn't as dark as early as it was, because like by sort of like five o'clock, it's pitch black and you can't really do anything um which is a shame but hey never mind i guess that's just what you get mid um mid november and to be honest it could be raining and horrible weather and actually the fact that the weather's pretty decent it's cold but it's pretty decent gotta take the small winds so yeah i think i'm just gonna go to sleep i reckon and then um, hopefully get up nice and early i wish i bought my sup and i could go out for like an early morning uh, sup on the lake, that would be lovely. Why didn't I do that? I'm so annoyed with myself, I didn't bring it. <sighs> Good morning. It is about half past seven and I am up and on the move. Um, a lovely night's sleep. That spot, it's a really good spot, but cars do sometimes go past pretty damn fast in the middle of the night and the van rocks a little bit. But, um, yeah, I've not since about six. Just been for a lovely little walk by the lake and I am now heading, I'm driving along Coniston, up the top over, of Coniston, over to Ambleside, which is um, on Lake Windermere. And, um, and then down Lake Windermere to Bowness. I've arrived at Bowness. I've just put my bed up into sofa day mode, which is always a bit of a chore. Uh, I think I've said before, I would love a bigger van. But part of me would love a bigger van so that I could just have a, a bed that's up all the time and part of me really likes having a small van so it's you know gonna have a small van you're gonna have to move your bed around um for day and night my mood so it's it's fine i think i'm just gonna chill in the van for a little bit get the laptop out um do a little bit of work on the website and then i'm gonna go for a little wander also i know that some people have messaged me about um you know like cold in the van in the winter and things i have a diesel heater in the van uh, so actually, not cold at all. <laughs> Boiling hot, in fact. I'm gonna turn it on. It's underneath here. I'm turn it on. Get a bit of heat in here whilst I'm just working for a little bit. This is Bowness. The town of Bowness is up there. We'll wander that up there in a second. This is where you can get the boats out over uh, Lake Windermere. around bonus I came out because I was getting irritated in the van because I have got pretty much zero signal so I thought I can't do any work so I'll just have a little wander instead it's quite busy to be honest for mid-November I think I've said that already but I'm surprised at how many people that actually are here I'm on the move again I've decided that um, 
the lakes I just couldn't find any signal to do to do the things that I want to do so I'm leaving the lakes as much as I love being in the lakes and I'd like to have stayed longer I need some signal to do some bits and bobs so I am on the move and I'm going down to um, Morecambe I'm gonna park up on the front of Morecambe and see if there's signal there I'm hopeful that there will be it's about a 45 minute drive or so which is good because I'll get some charging my battery as well because my battery's on like 35% of my leisure battery Keep right, then use the left lane to turn right onto A683. It's the next day and I'm on the move again. Um, I feel like this video is just me driving places, telling you I'm going places and then not like doing anything that I'm there. Um, but it was nice, uh, I've, I've met up with someone now and um, we had a nice evening on the front at Morecambe. In fact, I was just reading an article that they're thinking of banning motorhomes and vans and stuff on the front of Morecambe. At the moment, you can just park up there. Um, if you get like a bit further out of Morecambe, you can. Um, but yeah, they're planning on banning it, which is a shame, but it's sort of the way it's going everywhere, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we had a nice, nice evening on the front. Got, we got some fish and chips, watched a movie um, and this morning we have got up and we are on the move, we are off to Blackpool. Don't know why, we just fancied heading off to Blackpool so it's about 45 minute drive from Morecambe so maybe I'll show you a bit of Blackpool, maybe I'll forget again, we'll see. <laughs> amazing few days I've had it's been <laughs> it's been crazy I feel like I've been here there and everywhere I have figured though this is the first time I've gone out in the van um, for quite a few days and driving around and things and definitely my battery just is not big enough or like I my, I died last night went down to zero percent so I need to solve that problem either I need to get a bigger battery or I need something I'm not sure um, a, a higher powered DC to DC charger thing so when I'm driving it charges faster I'm not entirely sure but anyway I'm gonna end it here thank you again to Anna Luisa for their beautiful jewelry and don't forget that that link is down below in the description if you want to get yourself something or a perfect perfect for a Christmas present for someone I'm absolutely positive if you order something from there you will love it or whoever you buy it for will love it so check out that link and I will see you guys in the next adventure bye bye